Good morning, Kingsley Community. Pastor Colleen Weirman here coming to you with another daily devotion for Monday morning, April 25th, 2022, reading from Crosswalk.com. Cast all your care on the Lord, sparkling gems from the Greek. And this is from Rick Renner. 1 Peter 5, 7 is our scripture. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Rick writes, when we were constructing a huge church facility many years ago in the Republic of Lativa, Latvia, <laughs> Latvia, a former Soviet nation where our family once lived and worked, worry and anxiety tried so hard to control me. In fact, worry nearly broke me until I really came to understand and embrace the meaning of 1 Peter 5, 7. At the time, no credit was available for building churches in that nation. This meant we had to believe for all the finances to come in quickly so we could pay cash as we constructed the massive facility. Then the local authorities gave us a deadline by which the building had to be complete and occupied. Otherwise, there was a possibility we could lose everything we had invested. With this kind of pressure on me, I found myself continually worrying that we wouldn't have enough money to finish the project on time. I was constantly fighting thoughts about losing the building if we didn't make the deadline that the government had given us. I would lie in bed at night, rolling this way and that way, turning again and again, unable to sleep because my stomach was churning with acid and my mind was spinning with doubts, worries, fears, reservations, and concerns. My heart pounded harder and harder each day and night as anxiety reached out its demonic fingers to grab hold of my emotions and twist them into a mangled mess of panic. My wife would tell me to quit worrying and start trusting the Lord, but instead of appreciating her advice, I only got angry that she, was, she wasn't worrying with me. <laughs> Misery loves company, right? Finally, one night I got up, walked down the hallway to my study, opened my Bible, and read these words, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. 1 Peter 5, 7. I had read this verse thousands of times in my life, but that night it was as if it reached out from the pages of the Bible and grabbed hold of my attention. I read it and read it and read it again. At last, I picked up my Greek New Testament and began to dig deeper into the verse. What I discovered is that verse changed my life and set me free from worry, anxiety, fretting, and fear. That night, I saw that the word casting used in 1 Peter 5, 7 was the Greek word eperito. That's, I'm not saying that right. A compound of words epi and ripto. The word epi means upon, as on top of something. The word ripto means to hurl, to throw, or to cast. And it often means to violently throw or to fling something with great force. The only other place this word eperito is used in the New Testament is in Luke 19.35 where the Bible says, And they brought him to Jesus and they cast their garments upon the colt. And they set Jesus thereon. It is important to note this passage, for it correctly conveys the idea of the word epiripto, which is secular literature often pictured the flinging of a garment, bag, or excessive weight off the shoulders of a traveler and onto the back of some other beast, such as a donkey, camel, or horse. We are not designed to carry the burden of worry, fretting, and anxiety. This load is simply too much for human body and the central nervous system to tolerate. We may be able to manage it for a while, but eventually the physical body and mind will begin to break under this type of perpetual pressure. In fact, the medical world has confirmed that the major source of sickness in the Western Hemisphere is stress and pressure. Man, what... Man was simply not fashioned to carry pressures, stresses, anxieties, and worries. This is the reason his body breaks down when it undergoes the negative influences for too long. If you are struggling with sickness or depression, your condition very possibly could be related to stress and pressure. In 1 Peter 5, 7, it is almost as if Jesus is calling out to you and saying, your shoulders are not big enough to carry the burdens you're trying to bear for yourself. This load will eventually break you, so please let me be your beast of burden. Take the load and heave it with all your might. Fling it over onto my back and let me carry it for you. Luke 19.35 Just as it says in Luke 19.35, they cast their garments upon the back of the donkey. Now you need to cast your burdens over to the Lord and let him carry those burdens for you. But exactly what problems and cares are we to throw over onto the shoulders of the Lord? The Apostle Peter says we are to cast all of our cares upon Jesus. The word cares is a Greek word, something else, merimna, 
which means anxiety. However, in principle, it describes any affliction, difficulty, hardship, misfortune, trouble, or completed complicated circumstance that arises or results of problems that develop in our lives. It could, re it could refer to problems that are financial, marital, job-related, family-related, business-oriented, or anything else that concerns us. This means anything that causes you worry or anxiety, regardless of why it happened, is what you need to throw over onto the shoulders of Jesus Christ. Nothing is too big or small to talk to the Lord about it, Peter says, because he cares for us. The word care is taken from the Greek word malia, malii, which means to be concerned, to be thoughtful, to be interested, to be aware, to notice, or to give painful and meticulous attention. Peter uses this word to ensure us that Jesus really does care about us and the things that we carry heavy on our hearts. In fact, he gives meticulous attention to what is happening to us. He is interested in every facet of our lives. So don't ever let the devil tell you your problems are stupid, too small, or too insignificant to bring to Jesus. The Lord is interested in everything that concerns you. Because of the Greek words used in 1 Peter 5, 7, this verse carries the following idea. Take that heavy burden, difficulty, or challenge you are carrying the one that has arisen due to circumstances that have created hardship and struggles in your life, and fling those worries and anxieties over onto the back of the Lord. Let, them, let him carry them for you. The Lord is extremely interested in every facet of your life and is genuinely cared about your welfare, concerned about your welfare. When I saw these Greek words and perceived how deeply Jesus cared about the burdens that were on my heart, I realized I was carrying a load I didn't have to bear myself. Jesus was standing right by my side, longing to help me and inviting me to shift the weight from my shoulders to his shoulders. By faith, I heaved those financial cares onto the back of Jesus. And when I did, I was set free from the stress, anxiety, and pressure that was weighing me down. If you're lugging around worries, cares, and concerns about your family business, just heave them onto Jesus. So how do we do that? We write them down and we give them to Jesus. We write down our cares, worries, and stress, burn them and give them to Jesus. We bury them in the dirt and give them to Jesus. Um, we yell them out at Jesus. However, you have to heave or fling those worries and stress. I was watching, I saw a Facebook meme that had a, it had a pretend watch that was supposed to turn stress into energy, light. And so it had the watch on a pastor's arm, and then it had the pastor sitting there all lit up. <laughs> it was funny. Talk about your stress. Um, but that is that is what we're to do if we believe Jesus is walking with, with, with us, if we believe Jesus is on this journey with us, which I just talked about Sunday, then, and he reveals his presence and his peace to us, this is how we do it. We take our worry and we fling it onto Jesus who carries our burden. And we do that by praying. We do that by writing it down, burning it, um, I don't know, sending it on a pigeon carrier, <laughs> burying it in the dirt, whatever you need to do to fling it, to get rid of it. You could just rip it up and throw it in the air. Kind of the visual, if you're a visual person, you might have to burn it, rip it up, throw it in the air like confetti, shred it. Let's pray about it. Lord, we thank you that, you, that what we've read today... Um, reminds us to not have to carry the burdens in our lives by ourselves. In fact, you were ready to take them and carry them on my behalf. But it's never too late to do what is right. So right now, we, I, make the decision to yield to you every one of these matters that are bothering me. Thank you for coming alongside me to take these weights from my shoulders. Because you are so loving and attentive to me, I can now go free. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. I hope you have a good day. Cast those cares and burdens onto the Lord. Fling them. Burn them. Write them down. Get them off your mind. Get them out of your heart and give them to Jesus. And say, take them, Jesus. You could even send them to a fake address and the mail will just destroy it. <laughs> cast, them my, cast them my cares to Jesus. P.O. Box, I don't know, 7777. That's a holy number. <laughs> All right, have a good day.